Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and if you're tuning in, chances are you're a fan of classic TV. Today we're taking a trip down the memory lane and catching up with the cast of the show that left its mark on British television almost four decades ago. I'm talking about none other than Alf Widdison Pate. First off, we've got Team Healy who brought the character Dennis Peterson to life. Dennis is no-nonsense bricklayer was the glue that held the lads together in Germany. Now where's Team Healy these days? Well, besides his stint in Alf Widdison Pate, he's been a familiar face on the small screen. From boys from the Bosch to still open all hours, Tim's been keeping busy. Next on our list is Jimmy Neal, born in Long Britain, North Timside. He portrayed the main character, Leonard O's Osborne, a brickie with a story. But Jimmy's talent extends beyond acting. He has had a successful career in music industry too. From chart-topping hits like Love Don't Leave Your Anymore to his role in Sting's musical project, Jimmy has been making waves. Now let's talk about Jordi Bricklayer, Neville Hope, played by Kevin Whitley. He described each episode of the show as a little play and since then he has continued to grace our screens. From Levis to Pointer celebrities, Kevin has been a familiar face on TV. Moving on, we have Timothy Spall, who portrayed the Brahmi electrician Barry Teller. Timothy's career skyrocketed post of Willis and Pate, from critically acclaimed performances in Secrets and Lies to roles in the Harry Potter series, he has become a household name. And let's not forget, he is an officer of the Order of the British Empire. Now let's sign a spotlight on Chris Fairbank, the man behind the Liverpudlian plaster Moxley. After the show, he found success in various projects, from Safar and Steel to Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Chris has definitely kept himself busy in the entertainment world. A moment to remember the late Pat Roch, who played bricklayer Brian Bomber Prosperis. Apart from his role in Alf Winnison Pet, he made appearances in Indiana Jones films and television productions. Unfortunately, he left us at the age of 67 in 2004. Lastly, let's talk about Gary Hotlong the cheeky chuppy and womanizing cockney carpenter Wayne Norris. Tragically, Gary passed away at the age of 33 during the production of the second series. He was not only an actor but also the frontman of the band Heavy Metal Kids. And there you have it, a walk down memory lane with the cast of Off Widdis and Pate. Some have continued to grace our screens, some have ventured into music and sadly, we've lost a few along the way. So this much for today guys, did you enjoy this video, do let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because there is so much love in this world. Thanks now for watching, we'll see you around.